My name is Candice Semnyak and this is my 1000th workout, finally. I am one of the original NLT members that's still here. I started way back in the dungeon days in the summer of 2016 when it was in the basement of Chief Peguis. In 2016, I was working as a real estate brokerage that was a very toxic work environment. I dealt with my job stress by binge eating and drinking and the pounds slowly added up in the four years I worked there. I was also running around with my kids' activities and work and just didn't take a lot of time for me. Some girlfriends of mine had signed up for the mud run near our cottage that summer and I got talked into joining. I was overweight and hadn't worked out since my 20s, let alone run anywhere, and I was terrified. I remember I was sitting in my screen room drinking wine and scrolling through Facebook and an ad came by about the Little Black Dress program and NLT. And I turned to my husband and said, I think I want to try this. Like I thought working out for two weeks was going to suddenly make me ready for the run. I showed up in a pair of shorts I'd owned forever and a workout shirt my mom gave me and was so nervous. My first day we did stairs and I had to step off to the side, my legs were shaking so badly. I couldn't do my own stairs in my house for two days after my legs hurt so bad. I almost didn't go back, but something clicked and I kept at it. That six week program started it all for me. I went from working out three times a week trying not to throw up to also starting to take Taekwondo classes alongside my son while he trained for his black belt instead of sitting and watching. I invited friends to join me at the gym and it became an everyday habit to start my day there. I did the mud run again the following year and looking back at the photos I can totally see the difference. I also own a ton of workout wear now. We were there on the blue the first day RJ opened in the mall under the Fit Body Bootcamp franchise and I felt great. Working out was now a daily habit, but there were things coming that I couldn't foresee that would derail my progress. 2020 brought us the pandemic and the world, including our gym, shut down. My youngest son was a 2020 grad and my heart hurt for him not knowing that he was ever going back to be able to go back to high school and graduate. RJ had to lay off a lot of his coaching staff, many of whom had been there for years, and pivot his business model to keep us all going. He invested into equipment and started offering the virtual workouts online. I was down in my basement gym trying to work out on a virtual when I tore my meniscus and that started me on a setback that would last over a year. I stopped working out, spent months at physio and slowly gained many of the pounds back I had lost and kept off for years. My sons moved west and missing them and the gym, I threw myself into crazy work hours and poor food choices. When the gym finally opened again and we stepped back onto the blue, it felt like a different place. We were all so happy to be back, but things had changed for a lot of us over the pandemic. It took me a while to get back into a routine and schedule and to change my eating habits to lose the weight I had put on. My knees were also still giving me issues and modifying my workouts was a constant thing. I still need to watch when I do step ups and twists, etc. as my knees will let me know. I also had a fall while at work that made me lose six weeks of working out while I healed and although I'm still not 100% recovered from injuries, I try not to let that stop me on the blue. What words of wisdom can I try to give for those on the blue just starting or working their way to 1000? First and foremost, go at your own pace. This is not a race. Ironic since I started here because of a race. I am a firm believer in one and done. If you push yourself to your limit in one workout, that's the goal. There's no need to do more in a day if you pace yourself and don't give it your all. Be proud of each step and track your progress. You'll be amazed at the changes you might not notice every day. Fit Club is something different for everybody. RJ has created a place where people want to be, to be surrounded by like-minded people that encourage you to be your best. As I say to Coach Jen all the time, everyone is drinking the Kool-Aid, some more than others. My favorite thing is spotting the new person on the blue with a fear in their eyes. I still remember that feeling my first day and I want to welcome them and help them if I can. I encourage all our members, new and old, to remember what that day was like and reach out to be supportive, not just online on the accountability groups, but on the blue as well. I want to thank Coach Jen, who gets up so early every day to start off all the morning people on the blue. Over the years, she went from being a stranger working out beside me in NLT to a coach I appreciate and even more important, a friend. Thanks to RJ for creating a community for people to change and grow. And thanks to my 650 crew, especially my workout partner, Stacy, who pushes me to be 1% better every day. To my husband, Joel, who keeps me on track at home and to my boys who I miss and love every day. My name is Candace Semenyuk. This is my 1000 workout and I'll see you on the blue.